Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Jake Allen with Sloan Potential and I was wrong. I'll be the first to admit it. I was wrong. I did not anticipate the scaled and IC era to go the way that it has. When we got the album drop or even like the first teases of the album, I thought it was going to go a completely different direction. But now that the takeover tour has concluded and the lore within the tour is now available to us to analyze and pick apart, we now have a better understanding of what the heck Skilled and Icy is trying to communicate. This is what I thought that this era was gonna be. Tyler and Josh, well, maybe just Tyler. Josh, I think is a hallucination. That might be another video. Tyler and Josh stuck in Dima, enslaved, and I thought that Skilled and Icy was going to be about them breaking out, similarly to Trench, but in their new creative uh, lens that they're viewing this new album through. However, this album is actually completely the 180 degree opposite to that. I'm gonna be talking about why it's the opposite and actually why Tyler and potentially Josh, again, maybe a hallucination, why Tyler is actually embracing Dima, embracing Blurry Face, and is actually not fighting against it, but rather taking it in to be empowered, maybe? So to communicate what I'm getting at, uh, I have notes. Uh, let's go over the notes that I took from watching these shows and just support my argument as to why I think that this is what Scaled and Icy is now about. The biggest instance that I see that Tyler is embracing Blurry Face, embracing Dima, is when Message Man plays. It's crazy. He intentionally dips his hands into this sconce or bowl of black paint and smears himself on stage. And what's crazy about this, like the part that really blows my mind is that the crowd is cheering him on. If you think about that, we are celebrating him embracing this persona. And we should be like booing at this point, but the fact that the whole audience is like cheering is insane. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna go into maybe more of the meta elements of the show. He is seen flicking the extra paint onto the crowd from his hands, which means that the TakeOver Tour is actually promoting and spreading blurry face to all of these cities. Tyler is literally flicking the black paint onto the crowd, spreading the ideals and the personification of Blurry Face to their fans. And everybody's loving it. Everybody's cheering. Like, that's the crazy thing. I, I, I just think that's, that's so ironic. During this message man section, Tyler also takes this pose that really resembles the statues within Dima. We don't really know what the statues represent, but we can assume that it's bringing praise to the bishops. So he's seen actively taking this position during the message man ritual. Color means everything to 21 Pilots. They have been very intentional and purposeful about color representation in their music, their music videos, and their shows. So just for example, two easy instances of this. Red is the color of the bishops. Dima, control, fear. Yellow is the color of hope the banditos, escape, and a potential future that lies outside of Dima. There has been in this leg of the tour a significant lack of yellow color. Songs that we saw before in the trench era no longer rely on the color of yellow and yellow lights within their live shows when they're playing those songs. I especially noticed this in Jumpsuit. Uh, Jumpsuit used to have yellow lighting all over the place, but a lot of those shows and a lot of those instances of the live performances of Jumpsuit now have red colors. So this further communicates that Tyler and Josh are under the control of Dima, whereas this song, Jumpsuit, which used to be the rebellion song, showing people how to resist Dima, is now being viewed through the Dima lens and is now being twisted and converted into Dima propaganda, a la Scaled and Icy. I've also noticed that some songs are played differently with different effects at different shows. So there's a lot of miscommunication and a lot of confusion about why they're being played differently at different shows. But I think that it's because if you look at the timeline, as the time progresses through their tour, 
Dima continues to take over more and more and more. One element that does support this claim is that at the very beginning of the takeover tour, there was yellow confetti mixed in with the blue and the pink. Now, at the end of the takeover tour, the yellow was missing entirely. If I'm wrong on that, someone let me know, but I saw various people on Twitter and on YouTube comments saying that the yellow was missing from their show. Additionally, Josh's shirt, which had the yellow you know, tape that was found within the Trench Trilogy of music videos, is desaturated. It's not yellow anymore, it's more of a white. And that just goes to show that the yellow is being drained from this, this band. The hope is being drained from this band. And now that he just has that white pattern and it's no longer yellow, that's you know furthering that thought. More evidence that points to the fact that this is Dima's show, this is Dima's tour, this is not 21 Pilots' tour, this is Dima's tour, is that... Jake, here is your reminder. Alexa, stop. Another piece of evidence that points to the fact that this is Dima's show, <laughs> Dima's performance. This is not 20 Pilots, this is Dima propaganda and we're being spread Dima propaganda through this show, is that all nine Blurry Face songs that represent the nine bishops are present within the set lists of all of these performances. So you know how the takeover tour starts with the small shows. There are like two small shows and then there are two big shows in each city that they visited. If you add up all of those songs together and you take out the duplicates, you can clearly see that all nine songs that are representative of the nine bishops are being played live. So basically the, the nine bishops of Dima are traveling with 21 Pilots and are being celebrated through their anthems. So. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how much clear we can get with this is the Dima tour. Now, the last element that I wanted to bring to your attention is when Tyler sings Stressed Out. Usually when Tyler sings this song, uh, he says, my name is Blurry Face and I care what you think. And then to the audience, he says, what's my name? And then that goes into the chorus again. My name's Blurry Face and I care what you think. Now in the live shows, he's saying, what's your name? So he's turning around this question to the audience and the audience is declaring themselves as blurry face. It's like a subconscious way of communicating that blurry face is in control of all of us in the audience of these shows. And that's the most damning piece of evidence, I think, that this shows that Tyler is not trying to escape Dima in this current phase of the tour. Tyler is embracing Dima, embracing blurry face and is spreading these ideals to the audience that chooses to attend. I was wrong. I thought Psy would be about escaping Dima, an extension of 21 Pilots' album, Trench, and it's not. It's not at all. It's actually the complete opposite, and we're all blurry face and we're screwed. That's that's how that's what I'm getting from this this tour. Now I am excited about the icy tour and like what that's going to look like and what the lore is going to be presented within that tour. But honestly, I think that the icy tour is even going to be doing more of the same. If you think of scaled and icy, scaled back and isolated, icy, isolated, I think that this hint of the tour name is just furthering that isolation. You know what I mean? It's it's furthering that belief of isolation and that's no good. And also if you think about the fairly local music video, that was like where we were first introduced to Blurry Face, that's all icy. That whole set is just ice and snow. That's where Blurry Face was personified on a music video for the first time. So I think that it's gonna continue this trend. More Dima, more propaganda, more pushing the idea that Blurry Face and Dima is in control. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the support. If you want to support me further, drop a like if you enjoyed this video or drop a sub if you really want to see more from me. I am Jake Allen with Still Have Potential and I will catch you guys in the next video.